Howdy, I'm Matt, and in this episode, we will be tackling the question, should I, or should you, upgrade or not when it comes to iNerve, and maybe any other software going out there as well. Now, what do I mean, should I upgrade, should you upgrade, and what is Matt talking about? In short, there is the latest version of iNav 1.9.0 RC1, so release candidate one, which has been released two days ago. And I know that for some of you coming from a multi-rotor background, you're gonna go, wow, I must have the latest updates. There's gonna be something brilliant in there. My quad is gonna fly so much better. But the reality is, is that we're generally talking about fixed wing models here. And obviously you can use iNav for uh, multi rotors as well. Now the thing is, is that I'm, I feel that I need to share this with you because I feel really strongly about this, which is the and I and I, and I need to set the position in which I sit so that I hope that you can comprehend this. Is that number one is that my in my day to day job I'm also a software developer. It may not be C like what these guys are writing in, but for all intents and purposes I am a software developer. But I am a software developer which is freely and freely and very willing to admit that all software is not perfect uh, by, any, by any degree. And there are always, uh, how do we phrase them the best? Um, hidden features in the software. Uh, and the, the thing is, is that the software, new software needs to generally go through a testing phase of some shape or form. Uh, and then it gets released out to the either a subset of people or just gets released willy nilly out to for everybody to use, which is generally what's happened here. And there's no, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just how software works. So it just gets delivered. Uh, and especially in an open source community project like this is that uh, I'm sure some of the developers would go on and test it in their own quads and models and it'll work fine etc etc but the thing is is that until you release this code out into the wilds and give it such a wide variety of boards and situations and scenarios is that you never really know if it's going to work as it expected or not uh, and that's my point here, is that my background is uh, like a software development background, uh, and I can point blank, I can look you straight in the eye, and I can point blank tell you that every single piece of software which I have personally written has a bug in it or some of some shape or form. It is just the way that software works. Okay, so this is why I feel compelled to share this kind of insight with you because there is a brand new release of 1.9 uh, iNav, uh, which has just come out literally two days ago. And my advice to you is very simple. Do not upgrade, okay? And the reasoning for my advice to you being do not upgrade is because we are only on version 1.9.0. And the thing is, it's not gone out into the wilds just yet. And it hasn't seen a wide variety of scenarios and situations for any new bugs and things like that to be identified and go back into the development team to then get to version 1.9.1 or 1.9.2. Uh, and probably just going slightly off topic, one of the best scenarios or the best examples of this uh, is that there's a, an e-commerce software called Magento and there's a long-standing history is that Magento would always do a, a public release. So maybe they would, maybe they would release 1.9.2 uh, one, sorry, 1.9.0 uh, as their version release. But the thing is that nobody in their right minds would just touch it until it came out to 1.9.1 uh, or that there was a minor upgrade afterwards. And that's just like an industry standard within e-commerce. And the thing is that, that ports to any kind of software. So uh, there's a couple of um, comments here which I've just written down here on the side. I'm going to read them out for you. Now, there, and again, there's a, there's a chit chat going on about this in the Facebook group at the moment, which is uh, consider that with 1.9, so version 1.9 of iNav, almost 75,000 lines of code were touched in somewhere, in some way compared to the 1.8 release. That should be setting alarm bells off in your head. Okay, there has obviously been an awful lot of refactoring going on uh, and updates and things like that. And as such, it's very simple to maybe get a typo or similar uh, or introduce uh, an undocumented feature when you're touching that many lines of code. Uh, now, the thing is, I think, yeah, 
that the, there is an argument, which is that and it's a fair argument. I'm, I'm looking over there in the Facebook group, which is that if nobody uses version 1.9, then no new bugs, etc., etc., or undocumented features will be discovered. And that is an argument. Uh, and the argument which I'm going to pass back to you is let somebody else do that with their models. Okay, you, it, there's one thing being uh, dealing with open source software, which um, and it's not, it's not directly aimed at iNav, but sometimes it has just to go into the, it needs to go into the wilds to find out what's going to go wrong or what's going to go pear shaped. Okay, that's just the way things are at times. Okay, and the thing is, is that uh, your model is going to be flying above your head. Uh, and as such, I, I do agree with the argument. If nobody uses 1.9, then no bugs will get found. But the thing is, is that do you want bugs to get found when it's flying above your head? And you can really answer that question. And also on the flip side is that maybe you're really interested in the waypoints features and functions, which are, uh, are now part of 1.9 uh, and have had a big upgrade too as well. And by the way, what I'll do, I'll just quickly scroll down and there's lots of things which have gone on. And you'll notice there's no warnings which have been mentioned. There's no known bugs. Okay, there's there's several things which have been, and I'm just scrolling down, which have gone on, new boards, new features, uh, and a couple of bug fixes as well. And the thing is, is that for 99% of you which are watching this, none of you have a bloody clue why you would want to upgrade. Okay, you may look at a new feature, but the thing is, is that I am a strong believer in, if it's something's not broke, then just don't fix it. And it may be a shocker for you, is that I'm still using a version of 1.7 on my own models which fly above my own heads because they just work okay and that's probably I, I probably should go upgrade to one point at least 1.8 okay to be fair because 1.8 has been out for a very long time now uh, since November last year all major issues would have been found because if there was a serious category like big issue in 1.8 then wow there would have been an update for that and don't get me wrong there are some updates on the screen fish uh, fix a flash overflow and something like that and minor bug fixes but if you do not know the reason why you're upgrading beyond the point that oh 1.9 must be better than 1.8 because it's got a bigger number if that's your reason for upgrading, then that is not the reason why you should be upgrading. If you do feel compelled to upgrade, do wait for a minor version. So look out for 1.9.1 or 1.9.2 or a later version on there. And the reason for that is like for all the reason which, reasons which I've just been mentioned, let somebody else find out those undocumented features uh, and functions uh, and to feed them back into the loop, give the development in this case the, the INAV development team chance to, to catch up with those undocumented features because by the looks of it there was a lot of lines of code changed in this release and it's not a small release by any stretch of the imagination a lot has gone in, in to this latest release uh, and if you don't have a very good or a very clear reason why you're upgrading beyond the 1.9 it's got to be better than 1.8 then my advice to you is very simple do not upgrade wait a while it's not gonna hurt you at the end of the day it could be a couple of weeks it could be a couple of days i don't know when the next update is going to come out and if there's any one thing which you take away from this video in short and it's not just net it's not my comments here are not just aimed at inav uh well they they're, they're inav specific because this is what we've been talking about but it's software in general okay uh being on the bleeding edge does give you a few advantages, but being a slightly in, like in the middle of the curve is actually a very good place to, to be. And the reason for that uh, is really stability. And remember, we are talking about RC models here. Some of them fly very, very fast. Some of them have very pointy, blunt metal objects on the very front of them uh, and sort of spinning more than one knife around at one time. So. Uh, there is a safety concern which goes along with this and you have to feel comfortable at the end of the day that you are going to be flying a model above your own head, let alone anybody else who you're flying with at the same time. You've got to have confidence in that. So if you do upgrade to 1.9 today, it's just been released. Go and have a look. Uh, I'm sure there's many features in there. You can check them out and I'll put a link to this page in the video description below for you. But 
just be aware a lot of things have changed a lot of code has been touched there's new features and there's new functions which has gone on the inav configurator has also been updated and they've got the missions capability set in there happy days really really cool but test gently fly gently don't go off on a 20 kilometer flight to push it to extremes start off with just flying around with the field where you are build up progressively take a structured approach to what you're doing so i didn't want to leave this one on a negative note but do keep in the back of your mind when it comes to software of any shape or form maybe i have maybe different software having the very very latest software is not always the best idea generally it is but always look out for minor releases because that generally indicates to us as consumers or users of software that there have been some minor tweaks in there just to polish up what's already been previously written so with that said for myself matt thank you very much for taking the time to watch this episode and i'll see you again shortly cheerios